going Jesus to take Christ. Uh, videos, but no flash, please. These are professional musicians, and we don't want to, you know, blind them. So please uh, hold your chatter uh, until the end of this performance, and please mute your cell phones. Uh, I have the pleasure of introducing all of these wonderful musicians. Uh, you might recognize Matthew Chalmers from the or, or sound panel. Sorry, sound panel. He is going to be the conductor composer today. We have Francesca Hauser, our beautiful vocalist. We have Kendra Gritani. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> spelling. Uh, uh, the cellist, the cello. We have Yang Zhao, again, I'm so sorry, uh, our violinist. We have Natasha Penny, another violinist, and Julian Altman, another violinist. So we will be inviting the conductor and the vocalist on stage. We will dim the lights once they've safely made it on stage. This is where they then, announced um, that the gentlemen are performing. Begin. We hope you enjoy, and then we will be back with you shortly. So please, for our musicians, you may, you know, applause at the end. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Risa Burb. If I was up there singing 2019 guy, oh man. Yeah, you'd, you'd have shit popping off. What is this melody? It's operatic. One thing I always think of when it comes to like operatic singing is that if it was in English, it'd be so weird. Like imagine just English words being sung like that. It sounds so jarring. exist no but not like opera musicals usually opera is performed in like Italian or something well I guess it's not true there are other operas that are in English there's a prime Josh and there's a crime Thanks, Reaper. Frame? I believe so. I think it's OST for Daviri Paradox. Could be wrong though. I 
imagine it wasn't. Yeah, it'd be a little odd if it wasn't, but... I guess you never really know. Character singing with no background music. Oh, that's pretty cool. Indaviri Paradox? Thanks for your subreddit. Where? Laptops and tablets instead of sheet music. Welcome to the future. I mean, it's much better than just having like a ton of fucking paper that you'll immediately throw out after the performance. That's just wasteful. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that is the entire team <laughs> that did perform the true in-game or orchestral version of the Duveria Paradox Opera for the Duveria Paradox Quest. So everyone on stage oh, nice. today uh, was there in our recording session when we were explaining the update, and they are here recreating that moment today live for TennoCon history, a live music performance. So very, very exciting. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to sit down now because Megan's actually in charge this year, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So professional musicians, but not professional game devs? Like, no. It's like quite the contrast. Yeah. Um, because of that Can still comment, get the Tinocon rifle skin? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think so. Would Soulframe like to go first? Oh. Oh, we're getting it, we're getting it oh, out wow. of the way early. Well, we, have, we do have two choices now. This is a branching narrative. We can do, I hack Rebecca's PC and I have some Asterian screenshots. Okay. Uh, or we can do a bit of a soul frame thing. I mean, it's up to the audience. Soul yeah. frame, Asterian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Frame, soul frame. Asterian, okay. Asterian, Asterian. Oh, okay. He dumped me, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry that it happened to you. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna do the thing where we just jump in and show you um, what we've been working on, and we're gonna show you a way too long uh, <laughs> soul frame prototype. Uh, it was This here, doesn't have a release date, everyone right? It was not here last year, where we uh, shared with our uh, Tenno, our, our beautiful Tenno that uh, I'm glad we no, have the person this okay. year. Uh, that uh, some of us on Warframe were working on uh, something new, a sister project to Warframe creatively named Soulframe. You see what we did there, just uh, and Geniuses, uh, just genius. It's genius, it's professional game development <laughs> unfolding before your very eyes. Uh, Jeff didn't want me to set this up too much. Do you want me to set this up too much? Well, we have a lot of Warframe stuff to get through. We so we, have a, we have a way <laughs> too long demo, and, uh, and, uh, and also Warframe's demo is way too long as well. Oh, oh my god. Uh, so um, I just want to say- They announced we, this we at the last TennoCon. on it for the last Soul year. Frame, that we is. We showed you guys that mood trailer, and now we've been trying to figure out what this game actually is. actually might have been before. I and know. it is um, a sister to Warframe in many ways. It is similar kind of from a top level. It's co-op. It is solo. It is PvE focused. It is um, It's going to be a free game. It's going to be the things that you expect from us structure-wise. Um, but for me personally, not to speak for everyone on the team, uh, it is a response to... Um, an angry and anxious culture that we find ourselves in. We want to make something that is uh, fantasy, but it is not a grim, dark fantasy. It's a cozy fantasy where 
Um, everyone has, uh, can see redemption in their lives, that we can return to nature, that it's not too late to, to heal ourselves and, and the world that we live in. And ooh, oh, we got to get those violins back. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, be patient. It, it could be glitchy. And it won't be Joey and Sarah's fault who are joining us. I don't think they have a light on them. The Soul Frame Slayers yeah. are over there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Joey and Sarah agreed on that name. That was the Sarah I mentioned. But they work on the Soul Frame team, and uh, Sarah will be um, working on uh, the community management. And of course, it all begins uh, with you. This is why it's possible, and I really appreciate um, that Imagine just stealth drops today. To kind of build Here's the prototype, and kind of the full game's out too, by the way. Uh, we, we don't want to make just another Warframe, so it is a, a lot different, a lot slower. So uh, try not to snore too loudly, but uh, let's, let's dive in and see how this works. They didn't show gameplay last time, right? So this will be the first gameplay? Or am I misremembering? Did they show gameplay? Things that resub who, Adam and the Prime, Sinrox. They did show some. Okay. By Odin Rain, this beast we claim. Elden frame. Their meaning, like yeah, everything's river, Elden Ring like <laughs> in the eyes of gamers. Yes, that is a good title. Turn it up, Dean. This is this is uh, blind level for ants. Sinecure, mercenaries of the Synod above. If there exists okay, a soulless creature, one need only look skyward. It's gonna be Sekido esque. It seems like it's. That's interesting. It seems like it's kind of similar. Like, just with that immediate parry action. I think I saw a stance meter, or maybe I'm wrong. We waited to get that out for days. You were here looking for that monstered up stagger, I bet. Oh, nothing really. Just how it lives in a secrety glade hidden by ancient magics and how to find said secrety glade and disenchant said ancient magic. <laughs> oh, poor guy's super oh, congested. Few drags and. I'm an open scroll. Okay, big legs. I get it. Your problem is from the ground, the glades all puckered up. You need the right totem to tickle it open. Lucky for you, I've got one stashed down in Durmac. Simple as you going down there and fetching it. Might be you use this. One of those talky old things on the patch. My tree. What a nice guy. Little walnut hair thing. Sprout folk live headless for years. In my treatise, Capricious Crops, I surmise their thoughts. Ah, well. If the pensives had any sense, 
that have published it. So this is like, uh, kind of like our Lisette, isn't it? Uh, this is the Nightfold, and it's on the Silver Sea, which is the uh, lake of our ancestors. So as we play the game and adventure through the Isle of Midrath, we will find uh, the souls of our legendary ancestors and bring them here and build a village. So we'll just real quickly talk about over the UI a bit, Joey, and then I'll shut up for the rest. We are making uh, more of a role-playing game this time. So uh, it is based on the, the okay, three virtues of courage, spirit, and grace. Uh, and these will be your way of customizing your envoy to your liking and your play style. Uh, and then beyond that would be your pact. So if you go to the pact, which is not that, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, let's show off some of the different looks. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, they're going off book. Yeah. Lots of, lots of cool um, armors that you'll get. Yeah. Uh, yep. And take out. Oh, yeah. I think helmets. it's, I think yeah. it's mm -hmm. two down. I think it's the Joe's packs. flexing his account on me right now. Yeah. <laughs> so in Soulframe, uh, rather than changing your Warframe, you're going to just change every game needs a magic arm, I assume. So that's what we have here. And you will be changing your pact, which is with the omen beasts that are in the in the lands that you find yourself in. And uh, we're probably going to do the O Tempest for this one. Yes, thank you. And then lastly, uh, a, a big important part of the game is awakening your connection to ancestors, the Ode, which are the guys. Oh wait, the yeah, that name is a great crumb guzzler. A song on the on the people of Alka oh, and take wait. away their memories and their culture and their interesting and name it's up to us to remind them. So we have to seek out our ancestors, and they become, in essence, uh, the ways we customize our skills. So you can see, is that for example, Orlik, who has his baby on default his shoulder. Default character name? Or talks to. I don't know they if playing a, a prank right now. Uh, is great at Arcanic, and so we can equip that. But uh, anyway, let's continue in the demo. and, uh, and It's an old dev stream joke. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was like the actual in-game character's name permanently. From Guzzler of the old Tempest Yor pack. Procedural dungeon here. Okay, gotcha. Can't say I'm familiar with that one. That must be like really old. Lord Synod, the great stag will be yours come moonrise. You may send your collector. Thanks, Resub Jacqueline. Oh, yeah, I should say that because we're an envoy of souls, every uh, location in the game has uh, kind of these wandering souls, and they constitute. Uh, I guess you could say like a fourth spell slot, so we'll see how that works uh, in a moment. Thanks for resub, Turtley. Yeah, they're also doing a PC giveaway. If you click the panel on your stream, I think it automatically enters you into the PC giveaway. It's a fucking sick PC they're giving away here. The under city of Dermak. Thank you, tier one, Jeremy. The old traps, sharp as ever. Keep watch. The Collector is dispatched. Scour every yard of that code? tomb and prepare for I him believe so. I think it's just moist. Histories must burn, or more grooves will come. Maybe tier one captain. Oh, 
that looks like that pack is just armor. That's the blue one on the bottom right that he activated. Oh, you know, it gives him a little golf ball sentry too. That was like that Indiana Jones scene where the guy's like flourishing around a like a weapon. He looks like he's gonna be a b big bad guy, and Indy just shoots him. Choke me with sludge. The cats are everywhere, huh? I was gonna show you the vault, but I'm good here. Just up ahead and left. You can't miss it. Let's see. Or was it right? There's an old dented belief that waterfalls signify abundance. <laughs> Dead and still my blood haunts. Man chimed in from the spirit realm just to let us know that water makes him have to piss. Huge. Thanks, guy. Yeah, this is Soul Frame. So, I be chat can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's in the Warframe universe, but it is not a Warframe game. It's separate. So I think it still has some of the same rules that Warframe plays by in its world. It is not in the Warframe universe. Okay, someone in chat said you play as an Orokin in here. So it's just completely unrelated. Gotcha. Good. Now, let your familiar be our guide. Ah, I suppose, little genius, in a way, you are. Do you feel that, envoy? The air falls heavy here. A disruption in the lay. Old Jotar wanders near. There's gruel among you. Synod will have me sky wield of his tribute as lightened. Find the gruel and send them back to the fires of Ka. Man, the poor little enemies just get blasted. He's pretty much one-shot every single mob. The game is free, by the way. Soul Frame's gonna be free as well. That's gonna be so brutal. use of Mary Green. It's not exactly the same universe, but there will be some tie-ins. Big answer from the dev. Okay. Either way, though, it's, it's a sister game to the it. The soul severed, separate, and new. 
Now to find the aforementioned Prime? secret Why? glade. Yes, I know it's not a real world. There's a orange. That guy, I guess. Jesus. What's the co-creator code? Moist. Operations. This is not Warframe, this is Soul Frame. Different game. of nut Whoa, Ocarina of Time mechanics? Oh, uh, they blew a crucial note. Nintendo is suing. You joke, but I bet Nintendo has some kind of patent on ocarina play, like a ocarina music note playing or something. So, Soul Frame will probably be okay because it's not technically an ocarina. develop a god slap game eventually as we continue to grow the franchise it'd be cool to think of, think of something cool with that here's the recent piece of bub in the prime key here Fabled glades of Anderin. But where are the voicing trees? The shimmering pick tricks? Have the old engines made I'm really impressed with the length here. of this showcase so far. Like I thought it'd be like maybe a five, ten minute demo. They're going through like a lot, it feels.
Man, those abilities seem super strong. <laughs> wait, wait, two punches still killed that guy? God damn. That robo arm's not playing any games. to play? Yep. Apparently. Please, history's envoy. A mythical stag. The omen beast of the dented people. Is it prime poop? I wonder Alcastic. if they're gonna show a boss fight. Or... I wouldn't have really expected them to show a boss fight this early in mm. development, but yeah, I certainly wouldn't be complaining. The symbolic herb? See you any magics that might offer a clue? Huh? You have foreseen what lies beyond we we might need to stay here to to document these invaluable histories. Thanks, the resub, dead man. I thought she was gonna be a friend. Is she not a friend? She's definitely not friendly. Just as you were, old traitor. And she's hurting the big moose. You seek a pact with these wretched beasts. Fine. Let your fates be intertwined. <laughs> I've got a little forest creature to help me. Come back, bird! Where's the cooldown on that? Because I feel like you'd want to use that every single time off cooldown. It's the goop grandma. <laughs> I guess so. history needs to return. Famine? Or the old have vanished, kings!
He cleaned her. You just keep failing the song and like waterboarding her. Save the moose as well. Let's go. Uh oh. No, he's, he's not saved. But I can save him, and I'll dunk him in the water as well. sword seems really powerful. It like stuns everything. Even the bosses get like dazed from it for a second. I keep expecting some kind of big get off me AoE move since they keep rolling back on that. Man, fuck you too then, I guess. Where's the reset window?
sorry. I am damned. Eternal. I didn't expect that voice at all. You look like the clegs who skinned my lovers. Who brined my rivers. Who smeared their metal bowels on every wind. offer oh so that's forming the packs then that was a really good prototype showcase the only thing I'd say is I think what they'd stand to benefit is just by increasing the animation speed like 5%. Just a little bit, because sometimes a lot of the moves, and I think they were light attacks, look like you, uh, very Joey slow getting Sarah. there. You Great crank that by like 5% so faster, that shit's going to be so, and thanks so to, nice. thanks uh, to the Soul Frame team. Uh, hopefully, they're probably yeah, like in the audience you, somewhere. If you work at DE and you're comfortable, why don't you put your hand up? Because uh, there's only a few seats on stage, but the real people that make TennoCon possible, other than the community, are the people Kevin. in the studio. That looks great. Uh, if you raise your hand, if you're comfortable really identifying yourself as a DE employee, yep. round of applause for the DE team. Yes, thank you yep. so much. Yep. Yep. Love you guys. <laughs> Okay, I can pass. Bro, it I now. thought you were playing we still the whole have an time. Hour of frame to cover, so. <laughs> nice. I should have just had a controller yeah. in my hands and really Let's fucking go. fooled you. Do you guys want to? That's that's it. Maybe we should do that's introductions it. now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up here? Yeah. I don't know. No, this is Tinocon. I'm so excited about Soul Frame. I so it's all digital extremes. It. Yeah. yeah. We can I'm start holding down a steady there. 250k oh, down there. viewers okay. on Hi. it. God damn. I'm Sheldon. I am the COO of Digital Extremes. I'm really excited to see all of you today and uh, like these guys were just saying none of the things that you're that you saw today throughout this whole event none of the things that you're going to see up here on the screen are possible without the employees of digital extremes so we all welcome you we love having you back in our city and around us thank you so much for coming uh we love you Tano. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, I'm Paolo. The, thank you, thank you, I love me too. Uh, <laughs> the design director of Warframe. Uh, so excited to be here, we have so much to show you. Obviously we just did an amazing demo, that was incredible you guys. Uh, literally teared up at the end. Uh, she mocked me for crying. I did not. <laughs> just, uh, there's video evidence of it. Uh, <laughs> so glad to have you here and be back at this, uh, the live version. Just, just fill us with energy. Uh, I want to thank you all so Thanks much for coming Jacob. here. Jacob. And uh, hope you enjoy what we have left. Hi, everyone. 
Uh, my name is Rebecca Ford, and I'm also very excited to be here, and I hope you enjoy the Warframe uh, news to come. Uh, I'm creative director of Warframe, so thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Who are you? Uh, hello, my name is Megan Everett. I'm the community director for Warframe, and I, thank you, I, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm just so happy to do this. It feels Isn't like 2019 coffee? all over again, but we're stepping it up a notch, and we'll show you what that means very soon. Uh, Steve? Hi, my name's, we love you, Steve. Who said that? Uh, love you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Steve, and uh, I worked on Warframe for a while, and then uh, Rebecca stole my job, so Ooh. now I need to like hustle and make like another game real quick, or I'm out on the streets. <laughs> oh, I'm like, thank you. Who said that? You said Johnny in the Prime Chronos. Hi everyone, I'm Jeff. Um, we love I'm... you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we love you, Jeff. Love you, Jeff. Love you, Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, Steve pulled me with him. I'm uh, creative director on Soulframe, and everything that these guys said, I just want to double that it's amazing to have everyone here again and the support. You guys really kind of alleviated the nerves we had to show you something new. It was, I hope you can appreciate how scary that was for us, but it's such a privilege, and uh, myself and the whole team just feel so grateful that you've given us the opportunity to do something like this as well, and we're just, it means the world to us that we could share it with you in person again, so thank you. Hey, thank you, Jeff. I'm Scott. Uh, I don't know how I follow all those speeches because I never prepared anything like you guys did. Uh, and I'm a designer on Soulfree. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. We love you, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Sam Moosin. You're in charge, Megan. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot my clicker over here. Your clicker? Okay, fill the time. Uh, fill two minutes. We have lots to give away today. Um, we have a, anyone that filled out a ballot box, we are gonna be doing some great prizes. We have some great sponsored prizes. I don't know if the camera person can get a shot of that computer uh, with the uh, certain someone. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, the computer looks really Ooh. fucking uh -oh. cool. Uh oh. He's kinda he's kinda fit, eh? I could do a Narta right now. I could do the Narta again. Thanks for the prime. What are you doing? Ghost. Oh, okay. Uh, but we do have plenty of great things to give away, brought to you by amazing partners. And Megan has her clicker now, so I can stop improvising. But uh, Got it. My hey. bad. Hopefully we don't get flagged for nudity on Twitch with that computer. Those were some meaty abs. She's a little a little naky. <laughs> I got dumped. This is my personality now. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, all right, we are going to do a little bit of classic housekeeping as we know it. Uh, if you're watching right now, you're getting yourself a Gara Prime. We love Gara Prime, and we know if you're in the audience, you have your coat in your bag to get yourself Gara Prime because we love you too. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Uh, and we mentioned this at the top of the hour, but TennoCon is a very special initiative for charity reasons. We're able to give back, thanks to you, truly. Uh, and we mentioned that we are partnering with Canada Learning Code uh, this year. And I'm happy to show and announce, because I have my clicker, Dean Bergman, play the picture, I guess. $200,000 oh, to Canada wow. Learning Code. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. The, yeah, the giveaways so everywhere, though. Support them so you can enter from like the panel or anything. What they do, it's really special. Uh, and of course, if you want to continue to Ooh. grow that number, and you're on Twitch chat, you can do exclamation point donate and donate anything you'd like. Thank you. Uh, all right, I have a giant box. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. It's right here. We're already into it. It's right here. Oh, is it? Oh, do you want to hold my box? Oh, is this I was gonna help you. You can hold my box. Draw time. All right. It's very heavy. Geez, not nah, for me. I'm really strong. Is Excalibur with Octacore? Right, and Vampire would be lucky to have me, but no. Oh, 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 oh. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> not that I thought hard. you were asking a all question. Right, all day, everyone here has been doing lovely activities, maybe finding some hidden soul frame uh, characters throughout the You better the not have stole them. <laughs> Please don't. They're very heavy. Please don't steal them. Please don't steal them. Uh, and we're going to do some power plat. We're going to do a audience power plat, which if you don't know is 100,000 platinum. 
So we're gonna do an audience one and we're gonna do a Twitch picker one. So we're gonna do it at the same time. Ready? Someone sing a song. Charles White, 100,000 flat. Then I could easily get all like the purring. prime. It does sound, sound like purring. Purring. <laughs> uh, The winner of this does not need to come up to the stage because I have your information here, but you can stand up and we'll cheer for you. The winner of 100,000 platinum and their in game alias is Super Duper Nice Tenno. Oh, oh perfect. <laughs> you bastard. I don't know. 100k plat. Nice is, oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Sure 100k here. plat, you will be set here. for life you're in that game. Maybe oh, I see you. you can I get see every you. frame. Oh. Uh, literally anything. Winner, winner, Since winner, there's a community winner. market with other players, you we can get you pretty much get everything. Platinum. Forever. When we get back to the office on Monday. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dean, who won the Twitch chat power plat? It's still rolling, I'm sure. It's rolling right Oh. 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 I can't see anything. Oh wait, I can. It's I can. untradeable plat. <laughs> wait. Shadows on. Twitch. Wait, if you win the hundred K plat, it's untradeable. Plat. I'm here. Oh go. my god, that's a, that's a nightmare bug for Steve before the demo. We had broken shadows. It's untradeable, so it doesn't <laughs> crash the market. Shadows. Oh fuck. <laughs> all right, and that's Never mind. Not all out of my giant. Now box. I don't need it anymore. Also in my giant box is a what? winner for a Steam Deck. Oh. I will open it to show proof. Can oh, we what's throw that? It? It's a Steam Deck. I swear. I have, it's, a, it's packaged. It's beautiful. It's ready for you. Someone in the audience is winning a Steam Deck. You will need to come up and get it. Taylor is awaiting by the side. 100k on Forma. <laughs> True. The winner is... Do you want us to read it? Not good with names. Not good with names. <laughs> uh, we're thinking it's P.U. Phoenix. And if you come up, just tell us your first name because we have it there. P.U. We got a P.U. Phoenix in the house. P.U. Phoenix. All right. Please make your way safely up to the stage. Very exciting. And we have another Steam Deck oh. to give away. Oh, my Oh, shit. God. Wow. All right. The lucky winner is... Otto the Taco. <laughs> Otto the Taco. Spicy. Yeah, I can't see anything up here. Otto the Taco. Otto the Taco. Right Would you oh, ever get a there. Steam Deck? I'm not really a handheld gamer. So Taylor's no. Coming. Taylor's coming. Taylor's coming. Yay! Desire All for the Steam right. Deck. Cool. Though I do know it's like the best handheld. That's it for that. Okay. Um, Prime Flawed. Reb pointed out the naked man currently sitting on the PC uh, and all the stuff around it. No, not you. Sorry, not you. <laughs> um, as much as we see this in person, this is going to be a Twitch picker giveaway. Oh. All this great stuff. So, Dean, roll that while I get some other giveaways. Oh, wow, they're doing oh, it at, do at the beach? top? I thought that was going to uh, be like at the I end. I can do this with one hand. You can. No, it's 11 pounds. You can. you can. You have a bad knee. Don't do it. Go, go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you need another name from the box? Just too heavy. Yes, we're going to do a uh, giveaway of the Warframe vinyl. Beautiful. And the Warframe art book. Okay. Two separate or one? Very heavy. Two separate. Okay, vinyl. Vinyl is NY underscore Soro, S-O-R-O. -O. Nice. Need that art book? Not Soro oh anymore. Oh my god, yeah, the Digital Extremes art Soro team is anymore. unreal. And the official Warframe it's so art book that good. I held on stage, and it might have a couple dings in it, I apologize, she's heavy, is Carly Drawn. it's Carl Drawin. Carl Drawn. Oh, there we go. Hey! That art book will probably go so hard. Oh, you know it will. All right. And Dean, did we get, oh, the, is it power, oh. HB Omen, it's still running? Oh my god. It's right there. There's so, oh. All right, all of this delicious things, including this man right here. <laughs> right here. Don't fondle him. This, sorry, this bad Kerber. boy is going to Sixels on Twitch. Sixels on Twitch, congratulations. Are you in this chat or main chat? Sixels. Please Let's whisper Warframe Twitch channel and game millions platform and play Warframe and we'll get you all of this good stuff mailed to you. We'll need your shipping info. You know the deal. Okay. 
I'm nope. done with giveaways. He's in main chat. <laughs> well, I'm done. sorry, everyone else in Megan's big box, but sorry, you stay in my box. Next year, stay in. You get nothing. You could stay in my box. Okay. What? You can stop saying that, yeah, that way, please. please. <laughs> if we don't box. get banned for nudity, it's for mature content. It's my box. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Pretty sure they only draw from the main like chat. Do they? I'm not sure. Announce, I, th I, I guess. thought it was across. And this is. I'm right. <laughs> very excited for this because I'm a super nerd and a huge fan of BattleBots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyone else a BattleBots fan? Um, we're proud to say that we're sponsoring with Hacksmith, who are the folks who made the domestic drone and the Rattel machines. They're making their own bot at BattleBots, and I have an ass. Oh, <laughs> wanna Kick that bad boy up there. That's us. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh they're going. The well, it's kind of like a pseudo drone. drum bot. Oh yeah. Uh, so obviously you're here with us tonight or watching, but it's actually uh, battling right now in Las Vegas. So we'll find out if it won or not. We might see it on our TV. Either way, thank you, Hacksmith, Thanks, for Lisa. making a battle bot. Um, my, my inner nerd Heart. is absolutely screaming because I'm a huge I think you have an battle outer bot. nerd too. And battle bot still nerd? goes on. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Also they screaming. brought it back. Uh, so thank you to Hacksmith for that. And uh, we have another PC gaming giveaway. I don't physically have it with me, and you're going to understand why when you watch this video. So last year at Tenocon, we had that giant computer that looked like the Zeraman ship, I think it was, uh, that we gave away. Oh, that's the deck suit. Uh, sorry, Dean. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Uh, we gave away a PC last year, and we partnered up with JMDF to do a, another PC, so but let's take a look at what this one looks like. It comes with like a really usable Warframe. You get Excalibur Umbra in real life. Bullet jump IRL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he That's thick. He's just cool. a little boy, but he's thick. Yeah. What is that? He's a strong guy, that guy. Awesome. Anyway, if you want a chance to win that, you go to tenocon.com. So thank you to JMDF and HyperX for making that computer. I really want it. I can't have it, but <laughs> it's just how this works. All right, my last piece of housekeeping is after 10 Alive is done, we do have a Umber Former alert going up for 24 hours. Again, if you're here, the code works, and it will also give you an Umber Forma, because we love you. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Oh. All right, Reb. Do you want to set the stage, or you want to just jump right in? Oh, why don't we just jump right in? I don't know. There's a lot. We've made you wait for a long time, but we have obviously a lot of great Warframe news, giveaways, housekeeping. Uh, but we really do have a lot to, to uh, catch everyone up on for our plans for the rest of Warframe's life, which will be forever. Uh <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 So. Uh, as you know, the first thing is um, our, we are celebrating Warframe's 10th year anniversary, which would not be possible with everyone on this couch, everyone in the audience, and we have probably some of the most incredible Dex freebies for this anniversary, which will run till the end of the year. Is that what you wanted up on screen? Is that, that is correct. Dean, you can put that asset up there. Okay. Yeah, there yeah. it is. My that's, me, that's not an asset. Hi. That's a lady. Hey. <laughs> that's hey. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I, uh, it's the Dex uh, operator in the Dex drifter suits. Yeah, uh, which are there free. Is. Uh, this is free fashion frame for your operator and your drifter, and they look incredible. They will be available for claiming by just simply logging in the game from now until the end of the 2023 year. That's so right. lots of time. That's right. Yeah. You already know that. Sorry, it's old news. Uh, yeah, but it's you okay. know, it's still good news. Thanks for praying. Uh, and something that also launched Ashless. today, uh, right after the art panel, was our heirloom packs. Yes, the heirloom packs. Uh, it has been 10 years of Warframe, and Holy we shit. are very excited to bring uh, the original art director, Minky, back to design two heirloom skins, which have 
possibly the most beautiful details um, for the core Warframe. I think historically, uh, some of our like our original primes have that prime look, but like, what if we could push them further and have something incredibly prestigious? So in this year, we are launching our first ever heirloom pack. Uh, Packs, plural. There's three of them. They signify the anniversary, and there's three different tiers that you can support with to, you know, get yourself an heirloom accolade Maybe on your profile. Snacks. Just if you wish to support them, they're kind of supporter pack adjacent, and then you can uh, get those skins along with a uh, plaid, like a whole bunch of other stuff, a new cosmetic. I always think if you're Sigma, going to do micros, halos, that's the way to do it. Uh, which just really badass slider, cosmetics. So decide how high <laughs> or low. <laughs> yeah. Like I think yeah. that's optimal. So Doesn't change want, the like, game at all. It's for fashion framing, nothing else. That's a you can and that looks very cool. So this is one of our first... Um, of, uh, like I still think the way Warframe does micros is the best fall, in the free-to-play business. Bring, um, more. So Cosmetics so or experiment, so help you speed up a little bit of the grind. Yeah, and, I mean, we, if you, but everything's still totally accessible and reasonable <laughs> without paying. <laughs> Dean, play the trailer. <laughs> That mag one looks so good. I really like the mag one. Frost is good too, but I think the mag one looks very, very, very nice. Mag's also just a really cool frame in general. Stuff, hot stuff. Uh, and if you don't have uh, Meg or Frost Prime, Barzia has rotated her store and is offering some fun stuff for you guys. If you want to go in, get, in, get your relics, get your Frost Prime and Meg Prime. Yay! Prime frames. Prime frames. Prime frames. The, th the two post originals. The OGs. Yes. So I'm not holding my phone to be rude at all. Uh, this is actually to show you the future of the mobile version of Warframe, but my fake fingernails are still I got long. It. Okay, I got you. I got you. I can't actually. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that a stare? It's not a stare. Stop. <laughs> Do you want us to hold it? Stop. <laughs> uh, but we are uh, playing the latest Duviri content on our uh, mobile build. So this is my personal phone. That oh 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 my gross thumb. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Megan's iPad is bigger, so it might help you. I'll put it over there. Sorry, camera person. Wave I didn't farmers in shambles. Oh, Megan! No, no, no. It was loading. It was loading. Yeah. In. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't put it to sleep. <laughs> uh... So our team has been working really hard on getting this out, uh, getting betas going. We have um, a really, really um, helpful beta period in progress, and uh, we have officially. I feel like it's got to be so hard to play on mobile though, because it's such a fast game. But I also platform. don't play a lot so of mobile games Apple in general. Device, you can actually pre-order the mobile like version Snap of Warframe uh, for its launch in the 2024 year. Uh, so we'll. There's a reason why we're moving it to 2024, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about later in our, oh. you know, you know, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, and by moving, I mean you can use a controller on mobile. It after another very mm. requested feature that someone asked me about at a wedding. <laughs> um, so, yeah. yeah. You want to say it? Yeah, but before we get there, uh, yeah. So, did you, yeah, mobile's working. Dubiri is uh, playable on the build, and we're just getting a lot of polish. Um, usability, yeah. uh, performance, everything going with our team, uh, and we're very excited that you can actually pre-order it now, and you'll be able to play it next year. Very excited. Mobile users? Why aren't you pre-ordering? You all have Apple phones. Oh, sorry, right now. You mean, yeah, got it. But you're supposed to like play into the bit. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was playable here, and a few of you actually, like uh, three people told me that they were very impressed with how it was working. Oh, three people were impressed. Great. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Make it four. <laughs> That's real yeah, no, it's not. It's not out yet. I don't think. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay. still working on it. Well, you mentioned the other reason as to why mobile is coming next year. And we'll talk about that after the October. Oh, 
No, oh, you're good, you're good. Uh, okay. If you watch the art panel, <laughs> uh, you'll know that we announced our 54th new Warframe. I have a lovely slide, Dean. Uh, Degoth is going to be coming in October with many other things. That's right. Uh, so uh, as you all ease into fall, Degoth, uh, this is the original concept art by Keith, who's actually here today. He is. Uh, and Degoth is going to be headlining our October update, so that's our next major update for everyone. Uh, it'll be coming this fall. What's it called? It's called The Abyss of Degoth. Oh, there it is. There Whoa. she is. Yes. So. Who is Degoth? What is her story? Uh, this update is centralizing around bringing a new frame. Uh, it's going to bring our first sort of horror-themed dojo room as well, which will allow you to build her crypt in your dojo, and you'll cool. be treated. Yeah, cool. you'll be treated to some uh, narrative from grandmother from Deimos. She has a story about Degoth. What and the might fuck? I've been trying to think of the. What is the frame? Degoth got her name. So Nidus. This will be a Nabarus Nidus is the frame. Seasonal update. Like the Degoth background was reminding me of like have a war the way Nidus D, looks. Which means we the did alpha. it. We made it. That is, <laughs> we made it. Don't laugh. It's very important. And uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> Don't laugh. No, it's fine. And uh, it's, um, it, so the frame's coming with a dojo room. You'll be able to get her and learn more about her with content. But we're it also making this the biggest. Yeah, but I'm like just saying it reminds me of Nidus. So why don't we talk a little bit about that? Dean, I have a slide. Not the frame Thank itself you. so much. We got slides. Oh, and you were talking about the horror dojo and all yeah, that? Yeah, so we got uh, a lot of things coming with this update that are very focused on kind of revisiting other things in the game, starting with Hydroid. Hydroid. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, apparently Hydroid's trash right now, so that's, that's good that they're addressing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hydroid used to be no great, pressure, though. No pressure, no uh, pressure. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all excited. <laughs> I'm glad you're all looking forward to it. Uh, we're gonna be, I'm just gonna kind of talk a little bit like generalities. He's gonna friend. be streamlined, we're gonna change one of, one of his abilities, we're gonna change his passive, we'll show full details next death stream. Yes. We're gonna do the full dive dive in. Cause Hydroid, get it, get it. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, we're also gonna do a few other things with, uh, with that update. Wow. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> You guys really like uh, reworks, I see. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're working companions. Um, a few objectives that we have there, basically, you don't like how much they die. Uh, so basically, they're no longer going to die. Now they're going to get just incapacitated. And after a little bit, they get up. Uh, overall, we're increasing their effective health by about 50%, something like that. And we're adding a whole bunch of uh, new mods that basically increase how much you can kind of interact with them and how much you kind of cooperate with uh, with your companions. Uh, I think the thesis for that is your gameplay will affect a their return to battle if they do get incapacitated. It's all about what you're doing when you're, you know, combos is going to actually impact your bond with your companion. Yeah, ideally there's a little bit more exactly the, the bond with the your bond. With your That's the idea. The bond. Um, no permadeath changes the, the meta massively. Rough edges and rank walls. So we're doing a, a pass on several things. Uh, focus is going to be a little easier to get. So basically, we're increasing how much focus you get from all lenses. We're making it so when you pick up the little focus blob. Convergence you, orb. There, she knows the actual <laughs> term. Uh, you get some focus for that. We're uh, streamlining uh, the quest for air early. We're, yeah, we're, we're like. Wave Rider is going to be easier to do. Who here has not completed Wave Rider? Yeah, well. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I actually did that Next one year, sure. there better not be a hand up. Uh, we're removing bro uh, broken mods. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing several except things this. to kind of try and streamline that experience no, right, and just taking out some of, of the rough edges. Uh, and finally, some accessibility options. Um, basically, we're doing. You know, sometimes it can be, in the chaos of battle, can be pretty hard to see enemies. So we're adding several options to increase that. So basically, you can add like a little bit of an outline to them, change the color, change the intensity so you can uh, spot them wherever they are. Uh, we're doing uh, another, uh, a lot of updates to conservation to make it easier to see the animals, the footprints, and all that stuff. No problem. Aww, you're welcome, <laughs> Pyra. Aww, that's uh, and one change that started as accessibility but then kind of morphed was out of melee. So essentially, <laughs> if you've ever felt the pain of uh, spamming E like crazy, basically, uh, once we tried it, 
without a melee, which is essentially you just hold and it just melees, it felt so much better that we decided to make that the default. Uh, and as part of that, we're bringing in a new extra mechanic um, to kind of spice things up on melee. But uh, you'll hear about all that. By auto melee, it means just like hold down E yeah. instead, yeah. instead of having to click every time. Yeah, so our intention is we know we have like a limited time. We're already 20, okay, we're gonna go over, sorry, uh, but Debstream's gonna answer all the things on that slide and we'll talk about everything that we talked about at Tenocon in more detail. So if we have a lot of questions, everything there, we'll take them in September's Debstream. Yep. Now we're talking real fast because I'm panicking because I saw the clock. It's okay, so. don't panic. Uh, also mentioned in the art panel, but now it kind of has a more of a timeline because this obviously is our spooky October update. Dean, sorry, I have a slide. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Grendel Prime is going to be coming around that time as well. Our next Prime Warframes, Grendel. Let's see it. There he is. <laughs> that's the T that's the one that eats in bowling He's balls. He's going to be coming Zylock with Zylock Prime. Zylock Prime. He's got the Master Prime as well, and he has a Prime Sand, Cyan Dana. So you can kind of expect that in that time frame. And now I'm done. Well, you're not done yet, because as we deploy quality of life updates, uh, there's one update that will have the greatest life quality increase, which will be cross-save. Yeah. Hey, that's something the community's wanted for, like, <laughs> shit, years. <laughs> that's yeah, huge. Why don't you answer that one, <laughs> I was I literally walked to the show this morning with Jeff to set up, and I heard from the crowd lining up, cross-save win! Yes. So we are happy to announce that it is coming this year. So you will be able to participate in cross-platform save in 2023. We intend on rolling it out in phases, which is to say the Degoth update might have some under the hood changes that won't actually bring the feature, but they'll prepare the database unification we require to actually launch this. So we are going to be rolling it out in phases. We are going to get it out before the end of this year, unless we just really don't want to break your accounts. So uh, our goal is to have it and your account safe in this uh, calendar year. And we're very excited for that. The team's been working very hard on it. So uh, cross save is coming. Gwen, this year. Yeah. This year. Huge. And now you can now you know why mobile is next year because I could be playing right now and it would be nice because my main account is you know pretty yeah <laughs> we get it Are you ready I don't know what's next you know what's next is it demo time it's demo time oh, are you ready yeah. okay I got the pitch for this demo in at uh, Tim Hortons. Yeah, I, I pitched this, yep. And we were in Toronto to record that amazing orchestral quartet score. And yeah, I was having like a farmer rap and a double-double. If you're a Canadian, you know what that means. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, uh, <clears throat> can I work on that? And Rebecca said no. Uh, yeah, so Megan's going to be running the demo. Uh, this is live gameplay. It's about 30 minutes, so please get comfortable. Do a little stretch if you have to. Man, they really and do I... showcase a lot of gameplay of their awesome. things. <laughs> like Soul Frame, that demo was probably like 30, 35. Meg has to walk over there and she can't trip, God so damn. I have to give her some time. Uh, what to like say that. about the uh, demo? Our uh, goal with the future of Warframe 10 years in is, I didn't rehearse the thing. I was just hoping you would talk. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm very excited to bring you um, our you know, next arc in Warframe, uh, next cinematic arc. What you're about to see truly is the, uh, well, don't look at the computer, but uh, it's the beginning of the next cinematic quest arc. This is the first couple missions of the uh, next cinematic quest arc in Warframe. I won't talk too long about it, because uh, it will, it kind of speaks for itself, but I just want everyone to know that the, the fundamental goals and what we want to do is take everything you love about Warframe, which is a lot, because you guys really, left me a very easy job, I think. Thank you for setting no. everything up. Um, and I want to take- Yeah, we made all the pet companions die. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, yeah. What, See, you didn't like that? Uh, and uh, I think the, the, the real thesis is take what you love and look at it closer, go deeper with what you already know and recontextualize and start from the beginning, but from a place that you already understand. Make Warframe connected, love all the parts that we've given, and love them deeper. I'm just going to ra stop rambling now. We Cut should play the off. demo. We're going to play the demo. Uh, <laughs> I won't say no to... S <laughs> I like and there's a whole new, like this, 
I always like to rant about technical <laughs> stuff. I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're good. GI lighting. Yeah, I mean, this is a whole new lighting system that we are uh, using in Soul Frame. It is. It's amazing. And, and, yeah. and so pay special attention only to that and ignore everything yeah. that Rebecca yeah. thought yeah. of. No, no, no. Just look at that. So please enjoy. Uh, this is the beginning of the next arc of Warframe. Uh, I hope you love it. We worked very hard on it, and I hope the team enjoys watching their work in front of the Tenno because you are the ones that let us do this. So without further ado, please enjoy the next cinematic arc. Thanks, of the Brian Shulman. So one thing I've noticed, and it's super, Crank super the fucking clear, you, but not too loud. these Be companies, careful. Digital Extremes, Path of Exile, like these companies that have these products that aren't like the AAA Beholden and Larian too, that aren't beholden to like soulless husks, are so much better better at like conveying a product like they don't need highly scripted shit they just talk about it from a place of genuine passion and care it's so refreshing like it's not even comparable i compared this to anything you see from like any triple a dev ubisoft like any of them it's not even close and showing 30 minutes of live gameplay footage is such a confidence boost or a, a statement of confidence from the team in the product, instead of a highly curated fake setup thing like Ubisoft with Anthem and everything else they do. So different. I remember when we were kids and we'd sneak out with your parents vodka. Main grass fields, watch shooting stars, yeah. We were collecting memories, oh, you were my first love. And I'm not saying like the AAA studios make bad games, but it's very clear that the teams that make these games are so, so passionate about it. That guy kind of looks like Orlando Bloom. Conflicts, they sleep in peace. 
but a solitary dream plagues me. You must understand, constructs cannot dream, and yet I have. In my dream, one single name repeats. Kalibos. The memory surface long locked away. This was no dream, Tenno. It was a precept. The Kalimo sequence. Things a prime does. Fulfill this dormant precept. The Kalimo sequence has begun, and it cannot be undone. Thanks for Prime Sniper. Broski. I have one responsibility in the Kalimo sequence. Awaken the sleeper. But I cannot do it alone. Please, assist me once more. Lloyd's with the Necromech, right? He was during the Necromech line. Cut off again. This OST is going so hard. That sounded just like Halo, which is a good thing. Is your subscribe like? I fear we are off the edge of the map and into the domain of monsters. Master Entrati never completed his final project. The Vessels. The sequence dictates they cannot awaken before the sleeper does. Do you hear that? Let us hope the sleeper is untroubled by such strangeness. Find them. Makes the recent soul or solemn.
Lightning's the prime bomb. Necromax! Poor abandoned things, still faithfully following Master Entrati's last command to defend. Show mercy, Tenno. And them. That's the new gun. This one. It's a Soma. Okay. That's just the Soma Prime. Gotcha. Master Entrati called it. The Void Tongue. He feared it was meaningless. And feared more than it was not. So what we have here is a procedural brand new core tile set from a hub. So Deimos will expand. The Necrolis will expand to provide you with a deeper look at this beautifully lit tile set. I'll bullet jump around here so fast I'll never see it. Yeah, I know. I think about that a lot when playing games. Brand new weapon type we're adding. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty fucking hype. Spell books. That's really cool. I confess it galls me slightly to see a compendium of knowledge used as a weapon. But means must. We need be in no doubt of your skill, at any rate. Bring out the spell book and there's an invisible enemy there, like a fucking Dementor or something. God damn, that was cool. A monstrous danger, these labs. Better off sealed. We can only hope this sleeper has been untouched by this vast horror. This great indifference. 
This is all in Trotty's lab. Man, this might be such a bitch to navigate. Where's my plutonium? Oh, 15 miles across the chasm? Hollow Earth theory is true. Yeah, checkmate. Digital Extremes, I've said it a million times, is legitimately unmatched when it comes to art design. Like, their art direction is just un unreal. It's incredible. Every frame is so beautiful. Every location, every environment, every cutscene, it's all so fucking beautiful. I've said that since fucking 2015. Code streamer code voice. So that is a new faction that's coming called the Murmur. Oh, wait, a new faction. That sounds nice. He jealously protected his most adored possessions, be they objects or people. Come, the sleeper awaits. Here is Dr. Jiro from Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Wow, well, was easy to awake you. The Kalimo sequence has begun? Did he send you? Is he? No. No, of course he didn't. That would be impossible. This is, well, Floyd, the original, 
all emotional sentiments very much intact. Did you have a good sleep? Ah, the helpful necroloid my Albrecht had made, so that I might have assistance and company. Perhaps that made it easier for him to leave. Resume your duties, Construct. Resume your duties, Construct. Please, follow me. Doesn't Lloyd have your exact personality? This You're just bullying yourself, brother. Tenor, an orphan of the void. Continuing the struggle our master abandoned. Is this a flashback? No. So I. So we're going back. This is all part of the Kalimo sequence. So what we saw in the beginning, Lloyd, I guess, was the assistant to that guy. Like a book and they both went to sleep, but Lloyd blasted him with a hammer. So now only Lloyd's the one that's being awoken. The sequence dictates time to wait for their operator. <laughs> Clearly, that cannot be you. Oh, it can be. Tenno. Master Entrati's grimoire suggests you are the key. That colorless antique there? Use it. That's so cute. Oh, no fucking shot. You get to pilot those? That's so cool. God, that's so good. That's so good. You could use transference on something bigger than it. Oh. Stream Sam, that's exactly what I was thinking initially. No way, Dark Sector. That's not what the Dark Sector character looked like, is it? It's been so long since I played it. But he had the uh, hand glaive. are safe. Don't worry about strikes. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Is this some time fuckery? It looks like it. Yeah, I think so. Maybe? I don't know, man. Shit. Day one. 
Then I wouldn't be alone on New Year's Eve. Oh shit! 1999. Maybe one person. So this clearly has to be something to do with Excalibur, right? Yeah, he's even got the Excalibur abilities. How do, how do Warframes work? It doesn't like embody the soul of like a previous war warrior or anything, does it? I don't I don't remember the lore behind how the frames themselves function. Yes, kind of. I think Excalibur Umbra. I don't remember the lore behind Excalibur Umbra. It's been too long. It's like hollowed out people that you pilot. Jesus. Wait, what? Really? actually understand the lore of Warframe deeper. That's so fucking cool. So the operators are basically piloting corpses of great warriors from the past, I guess. That's so hype, Jesus Christ. That's so cool. No, they ended kind of abruptly. I'm guessing they ran over time. The hell did I just watch? Oh, nope. Did anyone have that in their bingo card? Wait, who had that on the bingo card? Good job demoing, Meg. I was gonna say, they didn't even like come back. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. So that is where we are going, and we have lots of plans. And so that's a new it game. It has been an honor. No, that's part of Warframe. In person, Tenno of Con. Think of it like expansions. <laughs> oh, make me cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tier One Ashton. It's like all the stress is leaving your body. I know. And you're gonna crumble into sand. We have worked so hard to get to this point, and we're so excited to continue telling Warframe's story thanks to everyone here who's played, and we really can't wait to release the Goth Whispers in the Walls this year, and then next year you can learn more about the bigger expansion coming to Warframe 1999. So I don't know if there's anything else to say. Happy 10 years. Happy 10, Happy 10 years. years. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Yep. That's, it. That's it. Thank you for coming. Get home. Damn, that looks good. Thanks, Thank you everyone. so much. That was two different expansions you. they showed. We appreciate you. So the first one was the. Get home 
all the necromechs and everything that were guarding the sleeper and awakening the sleeper. And then eventually piloting Giant Man in the 1999, I'm guessing, is the prequel to everything Warframe for the next expansion. Damn, that looks good. Yeah, Tinnocon's always great, man. They do an incredible job with it. Like, just look at the actual in-person event, too. They go all out. Things at Prime Roble. Things at Prime Blazing. True! Yeah, and they addressed, like, the number one community thing people wanted to see with cross-save. So it had legitimately everything that people want from a Tenocon. Thanks, Reese of Isaac and the Prime Gonza. God, that was good. That's so fucking good. Thanks, the Prime Wolf. Unread inbox messages make me ill. Thanks to the resub koi. Can new free to play players catch up with new content? Yeah. They, again, the game is not pay to win or anything. You pay for either Fashion Frame, which is fucking hype, actually. Their cosmetics go hard, but it's not a game changer or anything. Or you pay to speed up a bit of your grind. So, like, some boosters or, like, craft timing. That's it. So, yeah. Free-to-play players can catch up. It's a lot. There's a lot here. So you're probably going to want to, like, look up some, some guides on where to start, where to go, or get a group of friends together and all play it together. That'll usually be optimal, because there's a lot. The system continues to fall flash. into chaos. Check Return navigation for active blame. invasions. Pay for convenience, yep. How old is Warframe? This was the 10 year anniversary. Then they say when mobile is dropping 2024. And my main prime or my main frame is Saren Prime. I'm just leveling up some of the ones that I haven't done yet. So Saren's the one that I main. You gonna play more? Yeah, I am. Not tonight, though. I really need to go eat. All I had was my little spaghetti snack. So I'm gonna go eat for now. But I'm gonna start grinding Warframe again. Now that I've finished maxing RuneScape, now I can commit to grinding out Warframe for the rest of everything I need. Alright, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Warframe is free to play, and thanks again for di to Digital Extremes for sponsoring. So if you want to get started, you can do exclamation point Warframe in the chat or click the panel. Fucking great Tenocon. Absolutely crushed it. Alright everyone, I will see you all later tonight. Have a great rest of your evening everybody.